Wexel is joining us. Amir Vexler is a CEO at Centris Energy, ticker LEU, direct tie to the service and product you provide. Amir, thanks for being here with us this afternoon. Thank you for having me, Oliver. Let's start with that ticker, LEU. Take us through the science and what you guys do. So um, I'm sure your viewers hear a lot about nuclear these days. Yep. Nuclear is seen to be the enabler now to actually achieving our green energy goals around the world. One of the constraining uh, elements that there is in the nuclear sort of ability to generate power is, is the nuclear fuel. Uh, we've had a pretty dominant player in the market, the Russians. They have supplied a lot of the fuel, particularly the enrichment part of it. So in order for fuel to be useful in the reactor, the uranium has to be enriched. It's a complex technology that has a lot of restrictions around it, and it's really owned mostly by state players. Uh, we are the only public company that is enriching. And so it, it's a key element, the supply chain and the fuel world of nuclear, and it's a great enabler. You guys are based in Kentucky. Uh, take us through your operations. Is it the one big enrichment plant that generates uh, your product? Well, the genealogy of our business, uh, we used to be the United States Enrichment Corporation. Uh, our genealogy dates back many decades. We actually used to enrich uranium here in the United States. Uh, we stopped doing that a long time ago. Uh, we actually are getting back into it with the support of the government and the Department of Energy. And we do have um, our, our operation is in, uh, in Piketon, Ohio. And our headquarters is here in Bethesda, Maryland. Okay. And right now, are you mostly selling to uh, governments, municipalities? What type of customer base uh, are you selling to? So our, our customers are our utilities. The utilities are the ones that are operating the nuclear power plants. And they typically have organizations that are out there sourcing the different components and elements of the nuclear fuel. So they are our customers. Um, there is an emerging new customer out in the market is, you know, I'm sure your viewers heard about um, advanced reactors. Advanced reactors will be relying on higher enrichment fuel, which we currently are the only entity out there that possesses Western entity that possesses the license and ability to enrich. Mm. So this is our customer base right now. Uh, state of Illinois, I believe last I checked, has more nuclear plants, I think, than uh, any other state. Correct me if I'm wrong. But they're always kind of like on the brink of getting closed down. Uh, how confident and how much visibility is there on the amount of nuclear power here in America right now? Well, I, in my lifetime, this has been the most exciting time to be a nuclear. I mean, th there is strong support from ratepayers, strong support from the government, from local states. The example that I'll give you here is there was a plant in California that was slated for shutdown, uh, Diablo Canyon, right on the coast in California. In fact, California shut all of their nuclear power plants down in the last 20 years or so. And uh, Diablo Canyon was the last one. I guess the energy fundamentals now are such that they got a huge bailout, you know, both state and the federal government jumped in and, and are helping the plant and the plant is going to be running. And uh, same thing with another plant in Michigan, Palisades. It's being brought back from sort of a decommissioning phase. So this is exciting for nuclear. I think that gives nuclear operators a lot of confidence and a lot of predictability as they uh, as they put power on the grid. Seems like some of our, and I believe most of those Illinois plants have also stayed operational. Um, but uh, the policy side, too, seems to be favoring a domestic producer. As, uh, there's an effort right now in Congress to bar uranium imports from Russia, a few others, and also actually buy direct uh, a fuel as well. It seems like there's a bill that would actually allow the government then to go and directly purchase uh, enriched fuel. So would that create a new buyer for you? Uh, absolutely. I mean, for, for a company like ours, where we are restarting our enrichment and getting back into enrichment, this is a crucial support. So the U.S. government and the Department of Energy have been really crucial. And there's a bill right there right now that's going about to pass that basically commits $2.7 billion to standing up a domestic fuel supply chain 
here in the U.S. That's that's critical. Okay, tell us uh, from the stock perspective, uh, as far as growth goes and expenses going forward, if this uh, higher demand comes in from the government, if things go the way you expect for general demand, uh, do you have the ability to meet that? What is the capex and what does the expense side look relative to the business uh, and your capacity to output right now? That is a complex question. It depends on the offtake agreements, the amount of offtake, uh, when the offtake is due. So uh, unfortunately, I can't give you a simple answer, but but it is an expensive business. Uh, and he hence the reason why the government is, is out there and understanding that it, it would take public support to, to, to help us out. We really view this as a public-private partnership, and this is what we're gearing up for. All right. Amir, thanks for the time and explanation. We'll definitely be watching more closely going forward. Appreciate the details. Thank you, Oliver. Absolutely. Have a good weekend. Amir Vexler, CEO at Centris Energy Ticker, L-E-U.